welcome. Two saw acres here. Working on the uh, pressure washer today. Last year I uh, went to use it, last summer anyway, and uh, it seems like it won't let off high pressure at all. So it seems like probably the unloader valve. I'm gonna run, uh, start up here, do a quick demo so you can see, you know, maybe it's like what you're having problems with, and then uh, we'll get it in the barn and tear it down and see what we find. So you see when I let off the handle, it bogs down and it struggles and then when you sh when I shut it off, you notice how quick it shut down or the engine stopped spinning? It tells me that something ain't letting off and it, it honestly just sounds a lot different than it used to. Uh, when you let off the handle before, it would just kind of cruise along. Now you can just hear that it's struggling. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's where we stand. Pick back up in the barn. I watched a few videos myself and it seems that the... Um, Dump valve, I think is what it's called. Basically a pressure relief valve. Um, sometimes they get sticky and uh, that seems to be the case here. I, I, I don't know for sure, but we're, we're gonna find out. And uh, I'll throw a demo in, uh, in the mix here just so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you have this kind of issue, hopefully this fixes it. But again, I don't even know for sure yet. So we're gonna start by taking this shroud off. screws is already missing and this is one of those tools that or at least for me anyway, I don't use it very often but when I need it I need it and uh, just kind of the nature of the beast I guess See, the videos that I saw there was a clip that that this guy is held in with and I don't see it anywhere there so I wonder if I can fit a socket for that Bigger than a seven eighths. Let's try a fifteen sixteenths. Nope, I'll do it. dump valve and the purpose of this guy is basically when you let off the trigger that high pressure has to go somewhere and you don't want the high pressure to just keep building high pressure you want it to relieve so that looks right I heard that that, I saw that that little hole needs to be cleaned out Check valve in there. Well, I don't see anything glaringly wrong. Not yet, anyway. I'm going to pop these top screws off here. Not sure what they do. But it seems like. 
dump valve. Everything seems to look okay with it. All the components seem okay, the seals seem okay. And it's a little tight going in and out of there. Which I suppose the spring spring would keep the plunger pulled that way. That little guy pushes on a little ball valve. It's like a little bearing. A little steely. All the way in the back here. So let's uh let's pop that guy open. I'm not sure what how this guy works. This little spring plungers of some sort. sure what this is or how it works. You see these other ones, there's three of these all together. That come out just like that. This one came out in separate pieces. That did it. Can't even tell you how many times I fixed something just by simply taking it apart, taking a look at it, and slapping it back together. Take this main port off here. Huh. Did not expect that. Well, I'll be damned. Busted O-ring. Who knows what that thing is. Hey, just taking it apart. I don't know. There's a chunk or something. Oh, can't show you down in here what I'm talking about. That middle one has a little white something down in there. Barely see it there. The other two are completely clear. There's nothing down in there. And I got a different uh, flashlight to make this easier. See down in that one, there's nothing down in there. And this one, it's got that little white dude down in there. And 
that one, nothing either. And I can't tell, but honestly, that's probably not what's wrong. I think it's this right here. I got a busted O-ring. I don't have any clue. Let's get this back up on the tripod. I really have no idea what this guy is, but I'll try to get it apart here. O-ring is definitely shot. It's coming off in pieces. Okay. That guy doesn't actually look broke. Usually you can just tell by witness marks. It doesn't really look like... No, I think that end just sits uh, recessed in that hole and pushes. So we're definitely out an O-ring here. Who knows where the rest of that O-ring is, because that doesn't... Eh, that might be the whole thing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's the entire O-ring. Oop. Careful when you're doing this stuff. A little spring just fell out of there. So, might be a chunk of O-ring stuck down in there somewhere. Pull this apart, pull it off, and see if there's anything else up in there. It'll look like it, but never We'll go ahead and get a new O-ring on this this guy here on this end. I'm guessing it goes right around there. Can't exactly see how that would cause this issue, but I think that goes the other way. Yeah, that goes that way. No, it doesn't. No, it goes that way. Because then that seats up against a part inside the unit. Okay. Well, it is lunchtime. I will be back. All right, welcome back. I had to do a little YouTube in myself, and uh, as usual, my predicament is always the oddball. Almost all YouTube videos covering pressure washers are covering the loss of pressure situation, and obviously, as the demo showed, I have uh, no loss of pressure. I have no pressure drop or relief when you let go of the trigger. And I did find a quick blurb, could barely hear it in the background, explaining how these unloader valves work. So, these are the two components here, all right? We've got that guy and the un unloader valve. Okay, and I'm gonna take you off here and show you this. So, We'll start with what I found wrong in this seal right here at the tip of my thumb on that white piece of plastic there. That's what that seal was shot. It wasn't, I mean, it's in two pieces. So if we look into here, that's inside. Let's see if I can get a better. See that little hole off to the bottom left there? That's a relief port. That port matches up to a little port that's over here on the inside there. So what happens under, I mean, 
the, these pumps just pump. That's all they know how to do. They just pump. This unloader valve is what recirculates high pressure back to low pressure. The inlet here is the low pressure, and then we've got the outlet here, which is high pressure. Now, that little port that's inside of there, so when you're pumping, trigger's pulled, you're spraying. This little guy is just under a little bit of spring pressure, which allows that high pressure water to go through there, out to the wand, and out to the uh, or out through the hose to the wand and out the nozzle. When you let go of that, that pressure equalizes throughout the entire throughout this entire system. The, the spring pressure here can overcome, push back, but the high pressure still has to go somewhere. So it goes through that little port in there, slips off to the other side, which is where it meets up with the unloader. And I measured it out, and that is in this crease here, this valved area, if you will, right in here. And there's a port right there. So what happens is as the pressure backs up, it fills this gap inside of here and pushes this plunger from the backside against spring pressure and makes it travel that way. When it does that, this plunger pushes on the little bitty check ball valve that's in there. Let's see if we can see that. Yeah, there's a check ball valve all the way in the back and there's relief ports inside of that hole which allow the pressure to come through back down to the low pressure side and then it circulates and I think what was happening with my system because this little guy was shot it was just basically wide open all the time so we had high pressure kind of doing a water hammer scenario where it was pushing against this little valve back and forth allowing high pressure to go back in <clears throat> to the pump and then back over to here and back over here. So it was just constantly trying to give high pressure. It wasn't just bleeding off like it was supposed to because the pressure in the unloader valve was never constant enough to hold the valve open. So that's where we stand. I'm gonna uh, get this thing all, all put back together. Um, I did replace this seal, and I replaced a seal in the base of this plunger in the unloader valve. And, uh, I typically just use Vaseline to uh, coat regular O-rings. Uh, you could use grease if you want. Anything, you know, anything's better than nothing. It just helps on assembly. And honestly, this stuff is just going to wear off almost immediately anyway. It's just better for assembly. Alrighty. Hopefully, uh, when you see it again, she'll be back together. I'll have it out in the yard, and we will go from there. See how it works out. All right, we got our hook back up. I already don't, don't like that uh, leaking there. That's coming out of the detergent inlet port. I didn't used to do that before all of this happened, so I'm not sure what, what's going on. Uh, but we're gonna fire it up and see if the main problem's fixed. Doesn't sound like it. Nope. Really hard to pull. If I pull the trigger here, let the pressure off. It actually does seem to be working. I don't know what happened. It was stuck for a second. Now I can actually see the valve moving. And that's the way it's supposed to shut down. I don't know if you remember before, it kind of shut down and just immediately stopped. And that other leak stopped here from, the, from this hose. That one stopped. Maybe things just need to reset after I fixed everything internally. But yeah, it's actually working the way it's supposed to now. I don't know if you could see the uh, dump valve moving in and out when, when I let off the trigger. Holy cow. Fantastic. I'm going to see if it starts back up right quick. See what it does. Let me 
they used to pop too. And maybe after it runs longer. Well, fantastic. Well, hopefully somebody got something out of this. That's the first for me. And like I said, for whatever reason, every time I run into a problem, it happens to be the exact opposite of what most people are having. So it's always a struggle. But thanks for watching. If I helped you out, please uh, throw me a like, maybe a subscribe. Hate doing those uh, selfless plugs there, but I got to do it. Thanks a bunch for watching. Bye.